Wink. Minion in the Call of Cthulhu. I've played this game several times, and I'm happy to play it again. Just got released for uh, it came out with Games of Gold for uh, this month, and has also recently been added to Game Pass. So if you don't have this game yet, you haven't played it, here's your chance, and uh, I highly recommend it. This is a, I've played a lot of uh, Lovecraft games, and this is the best adaptation that I've seen so far. Oh, God, oh yeah, empty slot. I have uh, I have several. There's, there's multiple endings to this game, so I have multiple save games still left over. One where you actually get to see Cthulhu. You confront the actual Cthulhu. It's, it's, it's not much of a fight. I mean, he shows up, you die. But it's just cool that you get to see him, you know? A lot of the, uh, a lot of the games, um, the, the Cthulhu games, like to lean more into the, uh, the Shadow over Innsmouth. Uh theme, story, whatever, kind of lean on that. I mean, not not that that's bad, because every in every single one of those games, the scene where you're trapped in a hotel room, and the fish men just start, like, pounding on the doors, and you have to escape over the, over the rooftops and stuff, that is always super intense and very well done, just like in the original story. So, good job there. But Cthulhu never shows up in Innsmouth. It's not even Cthulhu worship there, it's Dagon, so... It's it's really cool that they did one that was actually Cthulhu-ish. And it's also, if you're into like mystery and detective type games, that's what this is. And and it should be, because uh, the, the whole Cthulhu game genre, even when it was, even in the tabletop games, it's always been, the, the characters are always investigators. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who has who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. It starts out nice and gross. This is like my sixth time in here and it's no less creepy. Waking up next to that shark head and all those guts. Ugh. Just the entrails laying around all over the place. Look at this. Ah, so gross. I should put like a dis an age disclaimer in the title because this my kids should not. <laughs> Watch this one, and they do watch my YouTube channel. So, if if some of my so some of my videos, if they're listed as 18 plus, even though they're like 15 plus, that's only so that YouTube will not give my kids easy access to them because they're 10 and 9. So, you must light up some items in order to interact with them. Right. So first, I need. Do I pick this up again? Thank you. Thank you very much. A bolt cutter. Right, 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 because I gotta cut my way through this door. I played this game before I became a YouTuber and started streaming, which is why I don't have a Let's Play. Check out that dead killer whale. What a putrid offering. Like some of the moments in this game are just this whole game is just super intense and the story is so great. Don't fight. You have been chosen. And the um I guess I don't know if it's an elder god, but it's definitely like a servant of the elder god, like Cthulhu. Um, the servant of Cthulhu, the Leviathan. When you actually get to see him, you know, just look. You it's, it's you can't get a clear look at him, and cause looking directly at him causes madness. And uh, 
and you fall into the water with him. It, that was just the, like the most terrifying thing ever. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. That's, and that's the way it's supposed to be. I hate whiskey. The Cthulhu and the and the and the sleeping elder gods they contact you in your in your dreams. I wonder why so. I still take these things. Sorry, I've been a, I've been a, a Lovecraft nerd since my friend Luke introduced me to him back in high school. Hi, by the way, Luke, if you're watching, this is thanks to you, buddy. Uh, let's not drink. I mean, it doesn't actually have any repercussions. It's been a while since I jotted games. down something other than my nightmares. And you do get an achievement for not drinking any alcohol at all throughout the, the, the game. Yeah, we don't need to read all this. We're on a timer here. Turn off the radio, because that's annoying. But gives us a good feel for, uh, you know, the time period. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Hello. I love those old I'm listening. Songs. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Clever way to, to do character creation. Right, right, right. Uh, there's not a lot of combat. It helps to be good with a gun. Um, occultism is useful. Investigation is probably the most useful skill. And spot hidden. If you're looking, if you're look, going for achievements, spot hidden is uh, super important. And uh, so is investigation because uh, that gives you the option to interact with more things. There, there's multiple paths to to many of the uh, many of the solutions in the game. There we go. I just poured it all into investigation. Nope, I've got more. Spot hidden. There we go. And uh, validate. Yes, that is how I would like. To. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, you she went from may I ask you a sensitive question to being a dick. I'm coming. Pretty quick. <laughs> also, occultism is a good skill to invest in if you want to delve deeper into the story. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Yep, there's the door. Get out. You're free to leave any time, sir. Thank you. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. 
I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find Not out investigator. the truth. Not they say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. Dun, dun, dun. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. The more you do with the occult or in this if, game, too. On the too, contrary, you manage to detect some logic, the less a rationality sanity to follow, so that I may understand it. Your character displays. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right, I'll look at your picture. What That's you all you've got. Be? The painting. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right, now let me look at the painting. I'll hold it down. Right. There's this symbol on the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Pretty much everything you find is a diary entry. Very cool picture. All right, now. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Not much to go on. And nothing on the back, but it's nice that you can rotate items in case there is so, ever. Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Shouldn't take this painting lightly. It's unlocked because of I don't know. The meaning something we did unlock exactly that option. As it appears. There's a lot of investigative work. Message. That's what I believe too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The more you, um, pretty much everybody you talk to has, will have locked options that you unlock by either having certain skill levels or having solved some kind of riddle Her husband previously. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. See, that was the I believe that there is more to this case than just skill. an accident. Okay, um let's just let's try to continue on so we can see more of this game. We're not actually gonna end up solving anything. That's right. In a it half came an hour, with Sarah's last minutes. painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Uh, if that's all the information I need. I think Let's do I'm it. beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer, but it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I used to be an avid reader. That's not the I used to be an avid on reader. On dark water, I guess? Medicine, right. Yeah, some books um, raise your skills, and that's some of those are super Married important. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The husband couldn't understand it. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Old cases. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. 
But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. It's just the farther you get into this game, the darker and creepier it gets, and the, the, the more you feel everything pressing in around you. It's done really well. And the more you get into the occult, the more you get options to act, uh, like in, insanity options to act on, where you um, start to understand things in a way that, that no rationally thinking person could. If the timer jumped a little bit, it's because I had to edit out a ridiculously long loading time. You guys know I'm not a fan of deep water. I think that's what draws me to the whole Lovecraft mythos. Is, um... Is, is my my bathophobia, where deep dark waters they just creep me the hell out, and that gives that gives the whole fear aspect of the Cthulhu mythos an extra kick. cigarettes are going to be the death of him, but he's he's investigating a Cthulhu mystery, so it's not going to be the cigarettes. Call of Cthulhu. There have been many, many, many games, and many of them did not do Cthulhu justice, but this game absolutely does. I'd recommend this over the Sinking City here. You know. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island. Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman. And a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have Take a drink a of a stranded there. whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. <laughs> Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins Makes family sense. that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Stranded whale over here. Stranded whale over there. Something took a massive bite out of this thing. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse, Warehouse 36. 36. Darkwater Harbor. 
Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't. It seems kind of dumb to just Damn stupid idiots. throw this Forget bloody it. rotting it's thing into the way. just into the bay. No way to treat an omen. Right there by the docks. Oh, yeah. He's There's Duck. Aha, I found Run. Dun, 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 dun. Let's check out the other stranded whale. This game's got a great atmosphere. He doesn't take crap. Gotta give him that. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Then you must not serve anyone, because everyone in here looks like they're up to something. Yeah. The guy didn't show respect. That's probably the bad, probably a bad option to go you with. saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. Huh. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh, no, we're good. That'll be all for now. A lot of atmosphere. I mean, there's a lot of conversations we could do to learn more about the town and the history. But uh, we'll go ahead and leave that to you. trying to squeeze as much content into these last couple of minutes. We're going to go over a little bit because of those like three minutes I had to edit out during that ridiculous loading screen. Hello, hello, hello. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Sure thing. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Pretty much everything is redacted. Eh. Then yeah, that's not helpful. I mean, if you look around, there's always little, like, little things to I wonder what more. Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. More conversation options. You know, like, this starts a whole nother section of dialogue with, uh, Captain What's-His-Face here. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. 
I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Warehouse. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Gotta get past those sailors and their Understood. Their whale. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Belong to the Hawkins it family. Belong to the Hawkins family. Found that out from the first Precisely. guy. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. Like I don't story. remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I don't know. You tell it's me. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. Okay. I shall be on I just my want way. to go check out the warehouse. So come back and see me when you've got something new. There we go. Sailor clearing up a little bit. He's got the whale pulled farther towards the water. Sailors are still trying to stop it from happening, but at least we can get through now. Cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody yeah. listens to us anyway. That's the blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed. Now, if you that medical book that we read at the beginning um, helped us figure that out or give you know that option and if I had poured a lot more points into medicine instead of investigation I mean that's obviously a bite mark something took a chunk out of a killer whale out there dun 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 where do you think you're going I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. So let me in anyway. If it was closed months ago, why is he still guarding the door? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Okay, so he's not going to let me in. More stuff to explore over there, but none of that's necessary. That's all just... It's lore or um, unlock some of the other options that get you into the warehouse. This guy. No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Investigate their activities. It's from our investigation skill. But we don't need to do that. I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I remember correctly... You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. 
Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as lords. <laughs> you bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do not rile me. You can hardly stand up. He's right. We're no match. For the moment. We're annoyed. It's understandable. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. Cat wrote the letter. Only they would kill to each the, other. Uh, captain. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Right. Liquor? Exactly. I'll try to find some for Can't you. Can't remember where to get that. Let's check out the statue. Now, if your lockpicking skill is high enough, I can't remember which skill is good for lockpicking, then you can open this door. Hmm. Is it investigation? Oh, sweet. Ah! It was investigation. There. Of course, there's no light in here. Oh, awesome. One bottle more or less. Now, if you don't have the investigation skill high enough, can I turn that off? Then uh, you're gonna have to get liquor somewhere else. This was the quickest way to do it. Dun da da. So, and I'm have back. you got what we asked you for? Yeah, you'll like it. This bottle comes from their personal stock. <laughs> well done. Now sit back and enjoy our performance. Follow me. Say that again. I hope for your sake that I did not hear. There we go. There are many ways, there's like at least four way, different ways to get into the warehouse. This was the quickest one that I could remember doing, but there's also, there's one going, there's one through this way that uh, has you wade through deep water and you start having nightmares in it and it's just traumatizing and creepy. Let's see. A high investigation is good if you want to get into locked places. Otherwise, you gotta you gotta look for keys. In which case, shoot. Oh, I'll have to find another way to get in. Because my investigation skill was not high enough. Well, well, a little mouse has got lost on our turf. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? It must be cat. Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. 
I don't I don't have anything invested in strength, so no. You don't have to do this. Of course I do. And I'll even take pleasure in doing it. Oh, oh, oh. She whooped my ass. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to no, deal with her. Please, if my tongue got ahead of my senses, or something like that. These guys are talking themselves out of trouble now. Calm down. <laughs> okay. There are multiple ways to do this. I love that this game has, has many different solutions. So, what can we go with on this one? This is, that's very fitting. That's perfect. Okay. Um, you know the drill. There's my Discord. And uh, like and subscribe. And I highly recommend this game. Get it. It's awesome. You will not regret it. Uh, if you like if HP Lovecraft in any way, then this is an absolute uh, must. So, um, yeah. I will see you. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming up this week and uh, throughout the rest of the month. I have some other things planned. Uh, remember to uh, keep an eye out for uh, the next uh, next time I do um, Plague Tale, which is uh, an awesome game, and I'm enjoying it very much. And uh, I'll see you in two weeks for more of Games with Gold. Minion out. <laughs>